Hello and welcome to the topic Arbitrariness. This is our lecture 3 about properties of language. Throughout the book we will have the reference of The Study of Language by George Ewell, 5th edition. Arbitrariness. What's your name? Well, your name may be Mary, Fatima, Sarah and so on. But why are you called by what you are called? I mean, why you are known by those names? That's because when you were born, your members of family called you by those names, right? Your mother and father chose you to call by those names of Mary, Fatima, Sarah and so on. Had your parents chosen to call you by different names other than those of Mary, Fatima and Sarah, you could have been known to public by different names now. It means that there is no natural connection between the person and the name given to her or him. Our name is recognized because of the wider social acceptance. That is how we are known by particular names. This is known as arbitrariness. Technically, we can say that there is no natural connection between a linguistic form and its meaning. Let's have another example. The object placed in front of us has a particular name with which we recognize. It is known as book in English. The same object or icon has different names in different languages. We call it Kitab in Arabic. Pushtak in Hindi, and so on. Had there been any natural or iconic relationship between the object and the name given to it, the same icon or object could have been universally known by the same name book. But that's not so. Recognizing this general fact about language leads us to conclude that a property of linguistic science is their arbitrary relationship with the objects they are used to indicate. This property of language is known as arbitrariness. Names in no way fit the objects or icons they denote. Hope you understand the lesson. Thank you and goodbye.